Hello, friends, and welcome to Regular Girls. I pressed record, and there was a food truck outside, but guess what? We roll with the punches here. It's me, Stacy. How are you? I've missed you. I know I haven't been on the pod for a while. This week, Renee and I, our ship's passing in the night once again. I apologize. Uh, but I hope you guys have been enjoying our guest pods. Uh, we have been really busy these last couple of months, which is really exciting for us. But I know you guys are sick of it and want us to get reunited. And I'm happy to say that next week we are back on track with regular girls. So there's that. This week I thought I would do a nice little Q&A, answer some cues that you need aid. And um, I'm, I'm stoked to be doing it. The last couple of weeks, my big announcement, which we thought we would be together to announce, was that I actually was filming a movie of the week. So Renee's dream of being in a Hallmark movie was thwarted by me being in one. It's not with Hallmark, but I'm super excited for it. And I just finished filming on Friday. If you guys hear cars, that's because um, those are cars. But I just finished filming on Friday. It was so fun. Renee and I will get down to the get down informations on it. That made no sense, but go with me. So we'll be talking about that next week, I'm sure. It was um, so hilarious and so fun. So um, I've been doing that. That's why I've been so MIA. And Renee is busy just conquering the world. So I hope you guys are cool with that. Women... Business women, women doing business, business women. Uh, if you are listening to me and going, can you make real words? I'm trying. I did a spin class today. I um, am not a regular spinner. And I went and um, if you're listening to this and you spin multiple times a week, you are uh, a goddamn hero. I don't know how you do it. My brain is absolute mush. Uh, they keep telling me to drink water and I'm doing it. And I still feel like my brain is a puddle on the floor. What can I say? So let's get into our q and I asked you guys on Instagram. And um, and let me know in the future if you guys want to do like an Instagram live. I know Renee and I tried that for our anniversary show. And there were mixed reviews on how that went. But if you guys are into that sort of thing and would like to see more of it, please let me know. And I would gladly set that up. So before we get into our q and I just wanted to thank our first sponsor, our first sponsor. A uh, friend of the pod who makes this podcast possible for all of you, and that is Sunbasket. Sunbasket delivers delicious meal kits right to your door. Their new quick and easy meal plan is designed to take less than 20 minutes to prepare. If you are like me, you are a busy lady on the go, and you do not have time all the time to make, you know, hour long meals. Please, come on. So Sunbasket offers organic produce and clean ingredients that I, like I said, is delivered right to your door. It's healthy cooking that's easy and convenient for any busy lifestyle. Ideally, I'd have enough time to cook dinner every night, but when there's no time to cook, it's so tempting to just get takeout, right? And even then you have to, I can now use that time to prepare my own delicious healthy meals with the new quick and easy meal plan to make it easy and convenient to cook healthy, which we know is hard because, you know, burgers and they call it foolproof cooking, which I... Could not agree more with. So each quick and easy recipe is designed to ta- uh, take about 20 minutes to prepare. And you can ease with bell pepper. There's salsa and f- queso fresco. That's always hard. Sunbasket works with the best farms and suppliers to bring your fresh organic produce and responsibly source Sunbasket. They offer paleo, gluten-free, lean and clean, vegan, Mediterranean options, and more in weekly recipes and skip or cancel at any time. So really Sunbasket is the thing. $35 off your first order, which is incredible. So that's sunbasket.com slash regular. Thank you, Sunbasket. We love you. So let's get back into this Q&A. And when I say get back into, I mean, let's just start it, shall we? So the first question comes from Jesse Sandu. And the question is, what's the best thing about living in Canada? So I lived in L.A. on and off for about two and a half years. And I was not an L.A. lady. No, you know, it just wasn't for me. And if you are living in L.A. or California and you love it, that's amazing. As you should. It's so sunny there. Beautiful weather. Can't complain. It wasn't for me. I love Toronto so much. I am a city gal. I like to take the streetcar. I like to walk. I like to bike around. I, I like that things are close to me. Um, I think Canada, or especially Toronto, is what I can speak of as this is where I live. Um, I like the weather. I mean, the winter is tough, but there's something really nice about it. And, uh, and I just like the, the scene here in Toronto. The comedy scene is incredible and it's wonderful. My friends are here. My family is here. The money 
is like a rainbow that I get to use. I think after living in LA for a while, I have developed for sure, and I will openly admit, rose-colored glasses on Canada. I think it's the best. Um, There's just something about it when I land here. My shoulders drop. I feel like I can breathe again. I just feel like this is home. And when I was away, I think I was fighting that for a really long time. So I'm super, super happy to be here in Canada. I love it so much, which makes me, I guess, a little lame, but I'll happily be a lame Canadian. Although I will admit that we do have a very strong accent, and that is absolutely undeniable. So there's that. Um, So also, I mean, sorry, guys, I was getting a lot of questions about Real Housewives, which I am very much into discussing at some point. If you want a Real Housewives pod, let me know, and I will lovingly break it down. I'm behind on Real Housewives of New York, but I'm catching up. So, Okay, so I have a question from Lindsay who asks, have you watched this season of The Bachelorette? I started watching it because you guys talk about it on the pod, and I'm dying for your thoughts on this season. I will be uh, the first one to admit that I have been really bad this season, and I have not watched it. Now, I can explain to you why I didn't watch it. Um, I will, if you guys want, I can get back into it. And, and uh, I used to run a show on YouTube. Uh, it was just a live stream after show for The Bachelorette uh, called After the Tears. And I really, really loved it. And we had a little community going, which was so, so fun. So I'm thinking about getting back into it for the next season or doing a Bachelor in Paradise because I feel like the franchise has taken a dip. I want to let that land for you guys while I drink some kombucha because get at me. This is who I am now. I feel like the franchise has taken a dip. I'm less interested. Ari season, it blew all of the goats. It really sucked the big one for me. I know a lot of people liked it, and I may not have a popular opinion on the whole matter, but Ari's whatever. I literally didn't care. You know, I'm more interested in like Wells Adams and Sarah Hyland's relationship, which I would love to unpack on Instagram. At first, I was annoyed by their love. Then I got into it, and now it's just a lot of, like, Sarah Hyland dancing in the background with Walls, like, smiling and pointing at the camera. I'm not so much into it, but that is far more exciting to me than watching Ari, him and Ha. And then The Bachelorette couldn't really care less this season. I will go down in a blaze of glory saying that Caitlin Bristow is one of the best Bachelorettes. Her season was amazing. She was just this, like, no shits given kind of gal who just like liked guys made out with them didn't care I don't know I was really into her whole vibe and I feel like that's lacking it's like she's just like down home and I'm missing like a regular person there's something about a flawed bachelor and bachelorette that I crave and I'm not talking like Pablo he sucked but like Andy Dorfman although like I don't really enjoy her that much she was like so flawed and crazy that I enjoyed her season because I was like, listen, like we were watching a mad woman and I was into it. And of course she was going to pick Josh. You know what I mean? So I, okay. That's a motorcycle driving off with my thoughts on the bachelorette. But, um, I will be getting back into, I think bachelor in paradise. I think that's where I'll land. I'm kind of behind where a lot of the people will kind of be new because I kind of skipped out on the last two seasons, just not being interested at all. So I am obviously looking forward to the investigations of who are these people, what is their background and getting into that. Also, Ashley, I getting engaged to Jared. I'm sure that'll get unpacked on the show. So that will be something to pay attention to for sure. Um, so maybe I'll bring after the tears back for bachelor in paradise. Let me know if that's something that you would want and we can do that. We can set that up. Uh, okay. So here's another question that is coming your way. Um, uh, here's a fun question that I just enjoy. And that is, can you describe a day in your dog's life? Um, and people are lacking dog content and that is Kaylee or Kali. Sorry about uh, that if I've mispronounced it. Um, so Burger and Vic are loving their lives, enjoying the summer. Burger and Vic were just at my parents' place for about two weeks while I was shooting. And um, they're just wonderful. If you're thinking about getting a dog, I will suggest, though, really thinking about it. Dogs are such an investment and so expensive. And if you really don't have the time to adopt them, um, then I highly suggest volunteering and volunteer like three or four times a week. So you understand 
what kind of goes into taking care of a dog. And I wish someone had said that to me. I mean, I don't regret my dogs at all. It is such a time investment, though. Um, so, yeah, if I mean, this is not a question about if we should adopt dogs or not. I mean, they live in the lap of luxury, and I really do cater as much as I can around them and what they need. Um, but, yeah, they're wonderful. Burger Bulldogs are insane, and Vic is just a precious little baby angel that has been sent to me, and I'm so excited that he is. But, uh, yeah, and also, like, adopt, don't shop. We know that hashtag, but I hope we're all leaning into it. Because, I mean, give me a break. There's so many cute dogs in the shelters. And if you're thinking about getting a dog, let me say this one more time. Just go volunteer. Also, guys, uh, I think my mic is clipping a little bit, so apologies on that. Also, this is unrelated, but I just started following Chrissy Teigen on Instagram. And I'm embarrassed at how long it took me to get to this point. She is fabulous and amazing. I think I feel like Renee and I should do another episode of Who to Follow on Instagram. I have some amazing follows that I like could not be more into. So there's there's that. Okay, so let's look. Um, okay, so here's some, some more questions. Will you and Renee be recording next week together? Yeah, it has been a while, little Lou. I'm sorry. Yes, 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 we will be back together. Uh, bachelorette question again. Who do I think is going to win? Um... I don't know. I haven't been watching, as you know. Um, Did you meet John in person? Yes, I have met John in person. He's wonderful and lovely and so great and so kind and such a cool guy. I have been asked by the um, vegan... Yeah, he's Tiff, nice. I believe. Let he me double nice, check you guys. This. I don't want to get wrong. Vegan Tiff. Great guy what is my self care routine? So, um, I don't know if I talked I about this on the last Q and I'm sure I did, nice. as I am like okay, always so one to tell you exactly what here. to buy and what to do. But um, I have really reduced my self care routine or skincare routine and, and beauty routine because um, I used to use like a million different products from a di- million different places, and I think I'm realizing as I'm getting um, not older but wiser. Um, that it less is more. So we need to focus on, and I say this to everyone, and and I hope that you uh, listen if you're looking for a shakeup in your self care routine. I think it's all about skincare. Um, so I know we do like we. I love makeup so much, but there's something that I've learned about if my skin isn't great, then like a bunch of makeup ain't gonna fix it. So um, so I've really, really, really been leaning into skincare and sort of channeling. And funneling my money into that whole situation because it truly will fix your face and your skin and you'll feel better. So, um, and again, I know skincare can get expensive, but I don't think you need very expensive products. On set um, for this movie, I got some great recommendations from the hairstylist who said, you know, you can really get great results from very cheap products. It's just about finding the things that work for you and your skin. When I turned 30, my skin sort of changed. So before I had very, very dry skin and now I have more oily skin. So now I, you know, I've had to make adjustments in what I use, but I love just fully hydrated skin. So I try to drink as much water as I can. Do I always achieve that? Absolutely not. But water literally will change your life. I mean, I know we're all on a budget and we're all looking for the quick fix. And I honestly believe it's probably water. So if you're on a tight, tight budget and you want to like change up your self-care routine, um, just drink more water. That's simple. Number one. Um, Also, guys, a big uh, sponsor that has been with regular girls is Tula. And Tula has truly changed my face. And they are not even a sponsor for this week. They're just um, they sent us a lot of lovely products and um, I've been using them and it's been really great. So toning my skin. So Tula has a great toner, but also a great toner um, is ACV. You can look that up, apple cider vinegar, and you split that with water. It's much more water than it is apple cider vinegar. You have to be careful with that because you can sort of like irritate your skin if it's not uh, the right level. So I like to do 20 ACV, 80 water. And if, uh, if you find that your skin needs more ACV, then you can sort of like up that as you feel comfortable. Another great toner is witch hazel. And you can get that really cheap at like a shoppers in Canada or like a CVS. So those are great. So toning your skin, which will help even out your skin tone is fantastic. And moisturizing. We have to moisturize at night. Um, My face is sensitive to coconut oil, but I know a lot of friends who use coconut oil to um, lotion, to lotion up the skin, but I can't do it. It makes me break out. But again, it's what your skin is. And 
honestly focusing on my skin, I've noticed that I need less foundation, which means I'm spending less money on my foundation. And I've actually really stepped back from even like full coverage foundations. I really just use like a BB cream or a CC cream. I just picked up a L'Oreal anti-redness like BB cream. It was $20. I was feeling like treating myself after a spin class. I just used it today and it is incredible. I have absolutely no redness on my face and I just needed like three or four drops of that. So um, I'm a bargain baby. I like a discount. So that's what I do. But uh, for me, it's skincare. I've started putting um, Garnier Moisture Balm sheet masks. When they go on sale, I'll buy a couple stacks of them and I keep them in my fridge. And um, a couple times a week, I'll like throw that on and putting it in the fridge makes me less puffy. So I do that, but it's, um, yeah, I know I'm yammering on about this. I don't know if this is information that you would really want, but, um, and, uh, you know, Renee and I are huge Glossier fans, just anything that keeps you looking just natural and glowy and, um, fresh is my whole shenanigan. I'm not a, I'm not a a cake caked on girl anymore. Sometimes the mood will strike, but, um, and as far as hair, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty simple with that as well. Just uh, what, usually whatever is on sale with no sulfates because I color my hair. So your girl can't handle sulfates. But if you guys have any um, of your favorite self-care, skincare, beauty care um, items, please send them my way. I love talking products. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this on the last podcast, but there is an incredible dupe for Glossier's Boy Brow, and it's available at, like, I'm sure, CVS and Shoppers, and it is the Maybelline. It's Maybelline Brow Precise, and it it's amazing. It's such a dupe for the Boy Brow, and so when you don't have time to order, or maybe it's a little bit more expensive, uh, and you're looking for a dupe, I think it's about 10 bucks, maybe less. I always wait for it to be on sale. Again, I'm a bargain baby. So, um, yeah, that's a really, really great dupe. And you get great coverage, and it doesn't make your eyebrows all waxy and sticky. I don't like that look. Maybe you do. But, again, my whole vibe is just natural. You know, I'm in my 30s, so we got we to gotta look glowy. Although, here, I'll tell you this. This is a hot recommendation that I really like. So there's a girl on YouTube that I've started really appreciating she is not like super super exciting but her products and they her products are a bit expensive to be honest but if you're looking for like products that maybe you would ask for christmas or for the holidays or for your birthday or an anniversary or something i, I can't uh, suggest estee lalonde enough so i'll link her below in the description um but estee lalonde i just literally watched her summer summer freckle routine where she has like beautiful freckles on her face and she does like makeup to accentuate that and i'm like i mean that's my whole vibe so she's amazing she was going on about the chanel bronzer it's like 70 dollars. so um obviously i'm not going to treat myself to that because that's absolutely ridiculous but um she has really great products and tips on like how to have just a glowy natural amazing face and honestly most of her tips were just using eyeshadow your bronzer is eyeshadow but i digress So let's get in as I just talked for nine hours about my self-care routine, which I absolutely any day of the week would happily, happily do. I want to talk about our next uh, sponsor, which is Away, which is first class luggage at a coach price. So Away is a team of thinkers, seekers and designers, and their focus and inspiration is movement, times of transition, exploration and surprise. So they have created incredible luggage that you will need if you you ever want to travel and put things in a luggage container away is the people to support their approach is simple they create simple sorry as a truck goes by listen it's it's crazy here but the approach is simple they create special objects that are designed to be resilient resourceful and essential to the way you travel today so inspired by true travel stories they ask thousands of people how they pack why they travel and what bugs them most about their luggage then they designed a bag that solved a few old problems like sticky wheels and a few no, uh, new problems too like dead cell phones I don't know about you but every time I go into an airport for some reason I forget that cell phones need to be charged and my phone always dies So Away uses high quality materials while offering a much lower price compared to other brands by cutting out the middleman and directly selling it to you. So you can choose from a variety of colors and four sizes. We were uh, lucky to work with Away and I have this rose colored luggage. It's just I feel like a real goddamn woman if I can even say it. 
They have a variety of colors and four sizes. They've got the carry-on, the bigger carry-on, the medium, or the large for extended stays. So key design features, which I, I cannot get over. All suitcases are made with premium German polycarbonate, unrivaled in strength and impact resilient. It's very, very lightweight, which you love if you're like me and a complete over. Packer, we don't want to spend more for our heavy cases. Four 360 degree spinner wheels guaranteed a smooth ride. TSA approved combination lock built into the top of the bag to prevent theft. And removable washable laundry bag keeps dirty clothes separate from clean. Are you hearing me on that? It's absolutely insane. Both sizes of the carry-on are able to charge all your cell phones, tablets, e-readers, and anything else that's powered by a USB cord. Honestly, this luggage is an absolute game changer. You need to treat yourself to this. They are absolutely incredible. They offer, this is what's crazy, a lifetime warranty. If anything breaks, they will fix or replace it for you for life. All right? This is where you invest your money, folks. 100-day trial. Live with it. Vibe with it. Travel with it. Instagram it. And if at any point you decide it's not for you, return it for a full refund. No questions asked. Again, that's a 100-day trial. No questions asked if it's not for you. Free shipping on any away order within the lower 48 states and carry on sizes that are compliant with all major U.S. airlines while maximizing the amount you can pack. So if you're in town, please be sure to visit away at their retail store in New York City. So for $20 off a suitcase, you need to visit awaytravel.com slash regular. So one more time, it is awaytravel.com slash regular. Use our promo code regular and you will get $20 off a suitcase. Again, visit awaytravel.com slash regular. Use our promo code regular during checkout and you'll get $20 off a suitcase. Guys, go treat yourself. When you travel, you should travel in style. So travel with Away. Thanks Away for sponsoring us. We really soups appreciate. Okay, so the next question I have gotten is from Improv Brandon, who asks, have you ever thought of a career in the WWE? Um, Listen, would I love to just like be a valet once where I play maybe a caring mother, I hand out raisins to the audience? Absolutely. But I have, um, I would just be too scared. What I would love though, my honest to goodness truth, is I totally want to like, I want to book a role like Brie Larson did in like a superhero movie where I have to train like crazy for like six months to prepare for the role. So what I would love is to be like, is to train like a WWE superstar. I think that would be so sick. Learning all the moves, getting the best shape of my life. That I would absolutely love to do without question. That would be so fun. Nina asks, if uh, if you have any superpower, what would it be and why? Um, I think mind reading would be great. I'm sure that would be like overwhelming. Uh, but to read people's minds would be just so great as someone who suffers from social anxiety to a point that's ridiculous. Um, I get really nervous in like silence where I'm like, what are they thinking? What are they doing? Oh, my God. Do they not like me? Oh, my gosh. And it's really them just silently reading a book. They're not even thinking about me. But my anxiety goes crazy. So I think if I could have any superpower, it would definitely be mind reading. So I could uh, know what people actually think of me. And um, yeah, I think we would all kind of like that. Like, do you like me? Is this happening? Tell me. (laughs) Um, So, yeah. I think that's a thing, right? Anyways, so we have a D Young Forever says, Hi, Stacey, want to start my own podcast similar to yours. What are your recommendations for equipment or essentials? Um, So the thing is, I think when people start new projects, they find reasons to like not even start it because of equipment and things like that. But um, I became, uh, through this podcast and through making my own YouTube videos and editing them and all that kind of stuff, became a bit of a tech nerd. But I think the thing I realized is that you don't have to be, you don't have to use expensive equipment. Uh, You can start small. Um, You know, uh, when Renee and I started, we were using our Mac headphones and um, using them in the laptop. Now we're trying to uh, elevate our pod with some new mics and new technology, which uh, you've all gone through the stumbling blocks with us in that. But um, you can just get some mics. I mean, there's a great store in Canada, Long and McQuaid. You can rent. If you go to a music store, a guitar center, whatever, you can rent. Uh, Equipment to see if it's something for you, but something simple. Just two microphones is all you need. Um, Two microphones. And I uh, edit the podcast in a free program called Audacity. So um, just two mics and Audacity is all we sort of use. 
So that's all you kind of need. And you can easily Google, easily, easily Google um, uh, podcast mics. You can get really cheap USB mics. And then when you find that you have a bigger budget, you can, um, or whatever your needs are, you can definitely elevate from there. But um, I think uh, if you're thinking about starting a podcast, just start one. That's the hardest part, I think, with starting anything new is just actually having to start it. Don't you think? Am I the only one who thinks that? I hope not. Also, this is unrelated, but um, right before I uh, started recording this podcast, uh, a nail polish in my bathroom fell and fell into the sink. And I honestly feel like I'm dying from the fumes of it. It's in my head. It could be the spin. It may just be this broken nail polish that's making me absolutely insane. Okay. Let's see what other cues we've got here. Superpowers. Answered. Bachelor. Answered. Best thing about living in Canada. Answered. Also, guys, let us know um, what you would like to um, hear from us in the next coming uh weeks of regular girls. I know we have conspiracy theories, which we are down for and I have been researching and I'm super excited to uh, talk with Renee about our um, conspiracy theories. Okay. So um, next question is from Matt B. Harbor and he asks, if you and Renee were co-stars on any famous TV show or movie, what would it be? Um, Okay. This is amazing. Um, What would we be on? Uh, I would say like Thelma and Louise, but then that ends tragically. So I don't know about that. Maybe like a nine to five. Um, oh my God, this is such a good question. I feel like we would be on like some buddy comedy together where we're like on a quest and we have to like, we have to like, you know, like what's that White Castle movie or whatever. Um, there is this movie with June Diane Raphael, who I always rave about, and Casey Wilson. They have a movie on Netflix that's so funny. It's just like them having to like go across the country in a car. I feel like Renee would, and I would have something like that where we're just like two idiots trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. That didn't really answer it. It'll come to me as like we continue on with this podcast. I'm sure I will think of like something. This is like unrelated, but I do have some... I have two recommendations that I need you guys to stop and listen to. The first one is um, if you guys like the housewives or not, or if you just like podcasts where people chat and have a good time, you have to listen to the latest bitch sesh podcast. It's so funny. It has, um, I realized just hearing that back, I sound like a mom or something, but uh, not that being a mom is bad, but I just was like, you know, it's so funny. Uh, And it's like, thanks Carol. Um, so the latest bitch sesh has Casey Wilson, Diane Schneider, uh, who, um, you know, they host the show. But June Diane Raphael is on it, who I absolutely love. I feel like she's so underrated and people should really appreciate her more because she's incredible. She's getting a manicure while they're talking about the housewives. It's so hilarious and over the top and ridiculous. And I, I've already listened to it twice and I plan on listening to it again. It's so, so funny. So there's that recommendation. Um, okay. So any more questions? I know this is sort of like a last minute ask from you guys. So I'm going to check my Instagram one more time to see if there's any more questions that have come in. And then, um, what I'd like to do is wrap it up. Okay. I love how you guys did not want an Instagram live. You were like, absolutely not, not interested. Okay, so uh, our last final sponsor for today is Ritual. Ritual is a great supplement company that you guys should definitely try out. Ritual is healthy choices that help you fill in the gaps in your diet when you're lacking them. So I need vitamin D. Everyone needs vitamin D. And Ritual is truly the only vitamin I remember to take. I'm trying to commit to the long term. So I'm coming up on two months. It's amazing. Vitamin D, we all got to get it. They also have the only omega-3 that actually tastes good because they add natural mint essential oil. So Ritual is vegan, sugar-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, and allergen-free, which is incredible. It's made in the USA without synthetic fillers or colorants, which is important. Delayed relapse... 
De- oh my gosh, literally spin has melted my brain. Delayed release capsule bypasses the stomach to help prevent nausea because some of us are sensitive to um, supplements. Innovative beadlet in oil formulation keeps dry ingredients separate from oils within the capsule. So you only have to take one pill, which is great because when you have a million, you're like, oh, here we go. Mint scented with an in-bottle tab enriched with pure peppermint oil. So it smells nice. It tastes great. It's patent pending technology and formulation. Visit their website and you'll learn everything from why each ingredient is beneficial to where it's sourced, which is important. We want to know where our supplements and our food are coming from, right? So Ritual is a subscription based. So that means there's no gap in your nutrient levels. It's sent to you. You don't need to worry about it. You don't need to run out in the middle of the night because you need to take your omega-3. It's $30 a month, which is a great Great bargain, and it's delivered to your door. So buying the omega-3 yourself is the cost of a ritual bottle. So fill the gaps in your diet with the best source ingredients. And if you forget a few days, you can snooze your order until you catch up, which is amazing because we've all been a part of those subscription base where like we stop using them for a little bit and then all of a sudden you've got like 9 million boxes. So you can snooze it when you need to. Happiness guaranteed, no questions asked, and you can cancel easily at any time. So you can really try out if Ritual is for you. 95% of women do not get the vitamins and minerals they need on a daily basis. And Ritual created a smarter vitamin with the nine essential ingredients women lack the most. So go to ritual.com slash regular choose clean ingredients backed by science sign up now at ritual.com slash regular thanks ritual we gotta get healthy folks we gotta take care of ourselves you know what i mean that's what makes our skin good that's what make us that's what make us feel good am i losing my mind possibly so um i'm gonna check again for one more question to see if we've got anything i literally was sitting on my phone i hope it's okay um yeah, I think that was the last question. If you guys like more Q and A's, let us know. I'll give you. Uh, I'll give us more uh, time um, for the next one, so that we can get a whole slew of cues. But thank you guys so much for listening. I um, I'm super excited to reunite with Renee. I hope you guys have liked the guests. If you guys do want us to talk to guests in the future, send us them so we can get inspired and reach out and chat with people. I'm also working on the tarot card podcast. So I know you guys uh, had messaged me and said that you like that idea. It is in the works people um, and it will be uh, released soon. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well. Cause that's when we get into like all the fads of like tarot's crystals. Do they work? Also, we talk crystal updates and, uh, and just, you know, you know how we dip our toes. Also, there was like a lunar eclipse. So I hope everyone charged their crystals because that's important. You know what I mean? Renee, I missed you guys. I hope you guys had a really great podcast. I hope I answered your questions in the way that you needed them to be answered. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.